Welcome back everyone, Criminal Nurture here. Time for some more Sky Shines bit. So things were not going particularly well. We have only six people left on our team. Got one elite of these. Got everybody else a standard except for these guys. Oh, she's a veteran now. I forgot that. So, you know, things aren't going what you would call well. They're not going terribly either, but um, I guess we'll just move forward and see what happens here. All right. Without warning, the dozer comes to a halt. All equipment still appears to be functional, but the vehicle won't move. The vehicle is caught in an AI stasis dragnet. Uh, do several rogue AI units teleport? All right, we got an interior fight. Interior fight. Those are the words I was looking for. I'm going to take, I think, everybody, except for the lady who's healing, which uh, which could not, it, there's a decent chance this isn't going to go well. I have, thank you. Alright, let's see, we've got rogue AI here. Which means that they hit, they can teleport around. I think that's what I remember. You can't do enough damage. You do four. I'd love to get rid of this guy in the back. All right, let's see here. What is the best strategy here? <laughs> I'm gonna move you up and hit this guy. He'll at least be partially protected. Apparently not enough, but he was partially protected. Excellent. It's like all he got was more damage, but that's not that's not bad. Let's move him up to here. Take this guy back. I'm gonna step this guy back. Oh, no, apparently that was my two moves. I don't remember doing two moves, but I'll trust you. All right, so that'll probably have him right up in my face. Oh, oh, hello. That was a poor choice on your part. Can't hit anything from there. He has a five, you can only do four. Alright, I'm gonna step this guy back to he Nah, I should probably take this guy out, huh? Veteran. If we can get out of this without anybody get dying, I will be a very happy man. I didn't know you could shoot from there. Alright, let's uh, heal. Move all the way up, he can hit both of them. What can you do? Nothing really. And you can. You still can't kill that guy. You can do seven? You do seven damage? Their damage must be going up. Is that what AI does? Their damage goes up over time? Oh no, that's what I do to them. <laughs> okay. Alright. I got a little worried there for a second. Right, let's move this guy up and... Smack that guy in the head. Pull him back. Yeah. 
Hmm. <laughs> Not much damage, but something. Step here. I'm gonna see what I can do here. Ah, crap. Alright, that guy's dead. Yep. Why did he get a shield? afraid of that. Alright, that guy's down. I get another turn? No, I was gonna say I didn't think I got another turn. Let's see. He can only do seven, so that's no good. Probably should have done this guy twice. No, I can't do that guy twice. Okay. There we go. Pull him here. Alright, that's good. He's gonna... Uh, he still can't finish that guy off. Okay. Good. Uh, I was hoping to get veteran status right there at the end. So nobody died. Good team. Nobody died. Right? Did somebody die? Did somebody die and I didn't notice? We had six before. Somebody died. But I did not notice somebody dying. Well, oh, whatever. <laughs> right, let's hit some of these side points. Alright, I'm gonna hit, I guess, one of them, and then we're gonna make a move for Aztec City. We can't really afford to get into any more scraps on the way. A group of panicked nomads suddenly rushed toward them from the uh, direction of a nearby tech plot. No, there's Clothes are in tatters and they have suffered energy energy weapons. They dash past the crew and scampers across crimson dunes before they disappear. A uh, wounded nomad, nomad shouts back over his shoulder. The hollows are up there. Hearts are full. Beware the hollows. We should probably beware the hollows, but I can't. Yep. AI units. Crap. Um... All right, this is gonna go very poorly. How did he get healed all the way up again? All right, buddy. You gotta come with us. I could use this. It said if we withdraw, there's too many of them, this is too many. I'm going to conduct an experiment here. I don't really know what happens when you withdraw. It said something about colonists leaving you, but I don't know what happens to your, the people on the field, but this is too many AI, we can't win this fight. Alright, so let's see. So some of them are leaving. Alright, okay, we lost 300 passengers. I'm okay with that. Alright, so I'm gonna take a risk here and just head for Aztec City. See what happens. I mean, why not? Dozer slows to a crawl. He disembark examines surprising situation ahead. The road ends in a massive wall constructed of some unknown substance. It is higher than the dozer itself, stretches of both end-to-end -end horizon. It appears impregnable. 
Near the side of the road, a tall metallic statue of a robotic warrior, par partly tarnished from enduring ages of exposure to the harsh bedlam environments. Suddenly the statue groans to life and moves towards you. Vigilus Omega Online, all imperfect beings are to be eradicated as per entry protocols, assessing threat, possessing tactical strategies, support units mobilized, obliteration of inferior forms commencing. Alright, so we've just got a big fight. Okay. I'm taking everybody. Alright, somebody. Who is the person we don't have? This guy? Alright. I'm gonna take all five of them because we don't really have another option. <laughs> Alright, and I'm also going to try this. I'm not really sure how well this will work on the rogue AI. We're gonna give it a shot. Hopefully they attack each other. Excellent. Maybe I should have kept that dead eye alive longer so it could kill each other, kill some of their own people. Actually, no, I can't remember how many moves, how long this thing lasts. So, wait, why is that? You can hit all these guys from here? Is this a, a, a skill of the gunslinger that I somehow missed? That they can shoot from cover? Oh my god, did I miss this? Oh, this was, that was a glitch, apparently. That's what that was. I was gonna say. That seemed it that seemed entirely uh unbalanced. <laughs> Put him up and just attack here. Yep, there it goes. That many people left. Me. Right, it's like a ton of bricks. That's okay. Let's get up in his grill. Well, he wasted a shot on that. It's kind of what I wanted him to do. Pull you back. Alright, so we just got this guy to deal with. And he only has one move. Alright, so let's see. Headshot. That sucks. And there's that shot. Alright, crap. This is gonna be bad. Oh, here we go. Woo, got him. Sentinel has been subjugated for this unprecedented accomplishment. The vehicle and its occupants have been calculated to be acceptable. Passage uh, Virilis Omega will accompany travelers to the intersection. As the portal seals behind the vehicle, the dozer continues the road ahead, uncharted territory to the quest of. Aztec City. Oh crap, there's another move. I thought that was the end. I guess I should have known better. I'd like to point out that we have three people on board here. Alright. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens. Alright. 
Suddenly, the dozer's instruments go haywire, directing, detecting mysterious signals ahead. Could this be indication of the final approach to the fabled Aztec city? Passengers begin buzzing with anticipation. Dozer's sensors reach a crescendo as the vehicle draws closer to the source of unknown injury. The dozer travels over a rise and arrives at what is beyond. The vehicle comes to a halt, and you disembark. The road ahead abruptly ends in a vast crater expanding as far as the eye can see. Its surface seems fused to some kind of powerful otherworldly weapon. Aztec City is gone. Shimmering in the air above the crater, a monolithic pyramid appears. The passengers rejoice at the astonishing sight. A small door opens on the surface of the incredible structure. A hovering orb of mystical light approaches, carrying a garbled... A, gar a curiously garbed man. Greetings to you, brave travelers. I am Telecan, herald to the Tesseractus. It's been many ages since we've seen a mechanic. Your perilous journey will be rewarded. Your courageous passengers have been deemed worthy to join us within the glory of Aztec City. Now you must swiftly return to the sanctuary of the fractal carousel or risk permanent flux. But your hardship is not over, mechanic. You must return to your point of origin and offer additional salvation. The other residents of, uh, Byzantine and the citizens of Bedlam must be liberated from the adversity Norton and torturous reign of King Viscera. Deliver this construct of our technology, a vertex bridge that allows instantaneous travel to this location over vast distances, and you will be accompanied by a quartet of Austrina, our formidable order, order of guardians. Because you're able to bring us so many fortunate travelers to the glory of Aztec City, select the following items to assist you in your journey. Alright, Relativity Eraser, Instant Doppelganger, Mutabolic Abuse Absorber, Nuker Electric Guillotine, Grudge Catalyst Bolt. Oh, we, uh, alright, we had to choose, apparently. Let's choose the Nuker. Uh, Quartet has joined the crew. Now you must make the harrowing journey back through the chaotic dominion. Telecan gestures to your passengers are surrounded in a floating orb of energy and rise to deliver them the massive pyramid. You hear the cries of elation as they're drawn to the mythical perfection of Aztec City. Moments later, a phosphorescent glow fills the air and the monolithic structure blinks out of existence. You and the remaining crew return to the dozer and begin the difficult journey back through the bedlam. Lovely. So you have to go back. Oh, man. That sucks. And we have what? We have... They gave us one of each. Eh. Alright, so let's see. That's already level four. That's level four. Gave us a bunch of power cells, so I feel like it's... This makes sense to... Improve all everything to level four here. Wait, this is already level four. Is there a level five? Apparently, there's a level five. I thought there were only four levels. All right, let's go this way. Is there, there's no real meat cost now, huh? Because we don't have any passengers. You leave behind the passengers who will begin a new life, a new in Aztec City, and bed back into Bedlam on the course for Byzantine. On each side of the road, some kind of effigy constructed of scrap metal, wire, and bone. They are adorned with spikes and splashes of red. Indication marauders aren't far away. Alright, so let's actually. I want to look at this here. Lightweight tactical warhead designed to atomize targets with a billowing blast. Head and caravan cloaked individuals in closer inspection. They're cyborgs who wear the emblem of COG. Approaches us. You must be pure fleshers given giving King Viscera the meaners for ya, but the machine god was pleased to see him smash the smithereens. This gear has served as offspring offerings to the Pantheon, although the fleshers do not embrace Cog, surely Krieg's machine and Geyer will understand. Barrage Bouquet 
Barricade or Plasma Phantasmer. Let's do the Barrage Barricade. Alright, I gotta... I'm gonna need to stop here for today. I'll see you next time.